Diamond in the Rough. And um, I thought I'd do a short whip and chat, say hello, it's been a little while. I will say though, uh, I did just record a whip and chat and I went off on a tangent. So I've just gone, you yeah, know, that's going in the bin. In the delete button. Uh, yeah, the chat was ended up being like an hour long. So I know you guys don't mind whip long whip and chats, but um, yeah, I, yeah, we'll leave that one there. So what I will do is say hello, everybody. How's your week going? How's your day going? And um, yeah, a bit of an update. Uh, you guys have obviously, well, not all, but some of you have seen the um, unboxing for the Erin Condren stuff for the planner. I do have a couple of videos up on there already. I have done my first move in, first plan with me. Oh my gosh, that was fun. But it was also confusing because it was like, I just didn't know what I was doing uh, when I first did it. And then I worked out what I was doing and then I still don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, a real beginner, real beginner. Today is Saturday. It's Saturday morning for me, the 11th of June. No, the 11th of July, let's get that right. Um, and I'm working on Treasure Studios Art, the Great White Shark. Hopefully I'll remember to put a picture in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll go to the comments. I can carry on the trinket box. She turn, it says they both look pretty, but she likes the sand one. Uh, Anna Dion is looking forward to the succulents box. Me too. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be far away. I know it's been shipped. DHL, which is always quicker than FedEx. So I know it's been shipped. Okay, tracking it. Okay. Then, Rivka, great video as always. Yeah, well, in the climate we're in to, at nowadays, um, Rivka, I know it's pretty hard to be able to buy stuff that is just like a craft. Um, sometimes it gets a bit hard. Uh, then we go up to <laughs> Mindy. An extra bit of money is nice. Yeah. I discovered where that money came from. It's 100% mine. It was a class action settlement. So yeah, not that it was a lot, but in saying that, um, new microphone, really nice new microphone. Uh, yeah, cause I film by webcam and yeah, decent microphone makes a big difference. Makes it a lot easier managing uh, sound. Okay, Diamond Painting with Dreamer has turned around and the pink grey galas, which I've just finally got the upload, finally got that edited. Um, well, that was put out this morning for people to check out. <coughs> and Elizabeth Adams. Yes. Uh, you don't, very nice, don't throw any, I'm going to save a, no, I'm not going to save into a quart jar every time I walk past and give it a little shake. Yeah, um, so yeah, that's where it comes to in relation to leftover drills, what do you do with them? And then we have Anna, talks about my planner, uh, the cover reminds me of the resin work, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, I love it, that's probably why it probably attracted me, I'm not sure. Uh, you'll be watching have nothing really to write you put what you do put down you put on a calendar that's what I used to be like well that's what I'm like which is why I've gone to the planner and I will and I will say that having the planner I have buckled up edited videos I have got two more videos that I've actually uploaded and are ready to be released, but I'm now not going to go bang, bang, bang and put them all out the one, on the one day or over a period of two days. So I've actually, I've done everything I can for them and yeah, they're ready for people to view as soon as they go up. That got myself organized. <clears throat> and Koala Craft says, uh, I'm a very bad influence. 
No, 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 no. Not if it's for good. <laughs> Not if it's for good. <laughs> um, I, will, I will actually touch on that. So I've done done a two unboxings and on my planner channel, two unboxings and I have done my setup, which yeah, I'm not fully set up. There's a couple of things I want to do and we'll see how it happens. I'm not fully set up. I've got more stickers to come, but oh my goodness, it was just I didn't know what to put where. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But I got it done. Hang on. Where'd I put it? There we go. We'll share with you. So, oh, let's see if the camera's going to fit. See what I've done? So, on 13th, Monday the 13th, Sophie and Toffee Elves box will come out. I'm going to do a record a short weapon chat. I actually have a medical, but that's a bill that's due. Uh, house payment. Uh, and look at that, that's the one. Blank custom, today is the day. Uh, and what you will see as well, I've actually been able to put my like day shift and night shift in so I can start planning and, and making stuff fit. Yes, I put washing, I have to do how, I do washing. So I'll do day shift. The morning of my night shift, I go and do washing. So then, um, yeah, just a, it's just one thing that I do do in the mornings. So that's that's just so you can see it's actually helping me uh, with things. And so this little spread got yet again blank custom. I've got my shifts in there. Um, I want to do my. I've got a there's an edit, Esperance chat edit, which I'm doing today. This one here is my whip and chat. I want to travel and I've got a Zoom meeting. Um, these are just for my plan days. So yeah, that's my son's birthday. <laughs> so that's where we're going with it. And um, when you look at what that looks like there, if I go to August, so August, you can see how plain that is. So yeah. That's where I'm at, um, just so you have a little bit of a look see at what I've done. But in saying that, you guys have benefited because I've actually got some editing done. The Esperance one I've half edited, well more than half, um, but that will be, fi I'll finish editing that today. So there's another one done. Um, but yeah, I've actually scheduled in to work on that blank custom because I keep going, I've got to work on that blank custom, but I never seem to find a suitable time because I always find something else to do. Procrastination is, uh, oh, it's an interesting little place to be in. So, you know, that's that's where it's going to help and I'm going to do more than just the short whipping chats. I'm actually going to achieve some stuff as well. Um, you know, things that I've got to schedule in that I've got to do. Right now is the first time that I can say I have a diamond painting that I have unboxed and I haven't kitted it up yeah which is very unusual normally everything every diamond painting that comes in I do an unboxing and then I kit it up the next day or sometimes even the same day so that just shows you that yeah I'm needing to start to plan I also will be doing <laughs> yeah, my budget <laughs> um, because I've been looking at the planner community there's also a lot of people that do the budgets as well and there's a couple of people that I watched that said you know there are five steps to doing a budget and the first one is to write down your spending <laughs> mm. I calculated I got there and calculated that basically what I had I didn't record I didn't record it I a bit too embarrassed to record it because I knew it would be bad um, but basically I've written down what my expenses are uh, and worked out that basically I had a certain amount of disposable income 
that could have paid out two credit cards and half of a personal loan. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to be doing that to get my budget organised and I'm going to go with uh, what they call life. There's one, one channel, life in envelopes or something. Um, but yeah, that's going to be interesting. But that's on the other channel. <laughs> Ooh. Who knows? Maybe I should have just done it all on one. Who knows? That's actually, that'll be the better question is, if I brought, would you guys be interested in me bringing that into this channel and just having the one channel? I don't know. It's tempting. It's so tempting. Um, it'll get a lot more views. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what do you think? Should I bring it into this channel and you just guys know that because it's planning, you'll see that it's a planning video? And then I don't have to worry about running two, two YouTube channels. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. All you have to do is skip over it if you're not interested. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Not much else going on. Uh, Saturday, so I've got today and tomorrow night today and tomorrow and then I'm back at work on Monday so I do two days two nights and then I'll get another five days off <laughs> when you see my roster on a on a on a on a calendar you actually can understand how it works but other people when you know when it's someone that's even Nathan struggles with it and then I've like I've got it marked up on the calendar um, it's taken him a few years to get used to the fact that you know I'm not always home on weekends <laughs> uh, and then on certain weekends I wish he wasn't home so that I can sleep during the day <laughs> yeah anyway um so yeah just two days left to go before I have to go back to work um, what else? Oh, we are, okay, so here we go. In the relationship to the COVID situation, they're looking at announcing whether stage five, we go into stage five. Um, now, for all the stages that we came back into, stage one was the tightest restrictions. Um, and then you know, as things progressed, we were, you know, our restrictions have been loosened and our community spread hasn't happened. And simply put, everybody that comes into Western Australia is quarantined and tested and quarantined for two weeks and tested. And basically the only people that are testing positive to coronavirus is those people that are already in quarantine that come into the come into Western Australia and are in quarantine, they are basically the only ones that are getting that there's um, that has it, which means that it's not out in the community and they're doing the right thing. We're doing the right thing to prevent it from coming within the community, which is really cool. We look at uh, another one of the states. And there, they had it under control, and then they had they allowed some protests to happen, um, and they started lifting restrictions too soon, and now their rate of coronavirus is rising per day. the The amount of um, positive results is increased every day um, where they've even I mean they've even locked down housing blocks so housing apart apartments you know completely locked them down with with police surrounding so people don't leave um, that's how bad they're locked locked down I know if that happened in the US there'd be protests but it, <laughs> For the people that are in there, it's harsh, and it is harsh. And don't get me wrong, I would not want to be in that situation. But the government is doing the right thing. They are absolutely doing the right thing. They 
I will say because people didn't do the right thing to prevent it, they're now gone and people that actually have it, um, they didn't do the right thing in the first place. And that, that's the way I see it. But what has happened is I think nine apartment blocks have been were put into lockdown. Um, people are being tested. People, some are refusing to be tested because for fear that they're being tested for for drugs. Um, some, you know, it's a personal liberty. You're not testing me. Some people just don't want to have it done because it's uncomfortable. Which you know, semi can't blame them. But what they've had is out of those nine apartment blocks, there is one block where nobody has it. All the tests came back clear. I don't know whether they've tested everybody, but basically the tests that they did, there was nobody that had it. The next block that was closest to them had, when they did it, it picked up that... Um, I think 11% of the people in those units had coronavirus, tested positive. Uh, so that unit is now in another lockdown for another nine days or something like that. Then they're treating that as if everybody has been exposed, which it, when you look at community spread, that's what community spread is. You know, they're, they're in an apartment block and they've probably passed at least three people that have the virus but now they've closed the borders for this state I mean the other but all the other all the other states have closed their borders against it to try and prevent it from going into theirs um, yeah it's it's an interesting situation but coming back to the West Australian side of things we're now looking we're at stage four restrictions which is you know nightclubs are open and it's just, you know, a bit of social distancing and anyone travelling into Western Australia goes into quarantine and is tested. We are now looking at going to phase, phase five, stage five, which is when workplaces are back up and running properly. Nobody is required to work from home. Um, you can all go into the city, go to work, work as normal. Which is really, really brilliant for a lot of people. Um, now, for for myself uh, and the, our crew and everyone that's in uh, that does work at AE where we are, uh, what happens is we then no longer go and work day shift at one location and night shift at another, and so we're all back to one place. Where we did night shift is actually closer to home for me, so I was using less petrol. And because while it was like that, we weren't allowed to use public transport, so therefore we had our parking paid. So what's going to happen now when we go back? I've got to pay for my parking again, and I'm going to be using more fuel. <laughs> Everybody else is going, yippee! And it's like, yeah. <laughs> because my life, in reality didn't change because well I don't go out much anyway Nathan still worked none of us lost hours um, mine changed actually for the good which is really really I'm sorry to say it for, for everybody that's had been, been hard but I've, we've been lucky we have been so lucky but basically on Monday we find out whether we lose our parking and whether we go back and all work on the same in the same building day and night shift so Stay tuned for that one. Don't want to know about that one. Um, yeah, on that note, I will leave it there. This is 20 minutes, so that's long enough for a short whip and chat. Uh, we'll say, guys, thank you for watching. Um, leave your comment. Let me know if you can say that the coronavirus hasn't affected you at all or, or it's affected you in a positive manner because we always want to see and look at the positives. It's always better to look at the positive. There's so much negative in the world. Pop down a positive that to happen uh, for you. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, yeah, leave your comments. Uh, if you are not subscribed, 
have an Instagram subscribe and become one of the many gems in this, in this team. And uh, hit the bell so you're notified when I do an upline or go live. And we'll say bye for now.